Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a very fascinating game played by Dutch chess grandmaster Jan Timon. His opponent is Filipino chess grandmaster Eugenio Torre and this game was played in 1982 in Hamburg. Now let's see what happened on the board. Torre had white pieces and he started the game with d4, knight f6 by Timon, knight f3 d5 c4, d takes c4, knight c3 and c6, the game is transformed into a slav defense, a4, bishop f5, black is going for check variation and knight e5, white is choosing the cross attack. White is not only attacking the pawn on c4, but is also preparing to occupy the center with f3, e4, and also in some lines white can fianchetto his bishop. Knight d7, Knight takes c4, queen c7 and g3, with this move white wants to develop his bishops. e5, d takes e5, knight takes e5, bishop f4 and rook d8, another popular alternative is playing knight d7. For example, this move was occurred in a game played by Kasparov and Morozevich, and after bishop g2, Morozevich played a very sharp g5 move. The idea is to lure away the bishop, unpin the knight and win a piece, but Kasparov played knight e3 and finally Kasparov managed to win the game. But in this game, after bishop f4, we see rook d8. Black is attacking white queen and only after queen c1 is protecting the knight on e5. Knight takes d6, check queen takes d6, bishop g2 and we see chaos link by both sides. Now comes a5, queen e3, knight d7, rook d1, queen e6 and queen a7. This queen is looking for weaknesses in order to win a pawn. Bishop c2, rook d2, queen b3. In return black is looking for counter attacking chances. Rook c1, bishop f5. Bishop takes e5, knight takes e5, and we also see the exchange of first pair of rooks on d8, after which white won a pawn on a5 square. Rook e8, now black will try to win back the pawn on b2. Knight d1, bishop g4, this time the bishop is coming after the pawn on e2, and bishop f1. In order to save the one pawn, white is making passive moves, and of course we can say that though black didn't manage to win the pawn back, but black has a compensation with his active position. f6, and a terrible mistake by Tore, queen c7. After which, Jan Timon played queen b4, took under control this a5 square, also the a3 f8 diagonal, and now the threat is rook c8 in order to trap white queen. And at the same time, Jan Timon is creating another devastating threat, queen e1 followed by bishop h3. a5 was played, white wants to meet rook c8 with queen b6, but now Timon is bringing into life his second idea, Queen e1 is on the board and the threat is bishop h3. White is in trouble. Rook b1. White wants to meet bishop h3 with knight c3. For example, if here, then knight c3 and black can even lose a piece. But after rook b1, Jan Timon found a brilliant combination to finish up his opponent. You can pause the video and try to find mate in 4 moves. Ready? In this position, Dutch chess grandmaster played knight f3 check, look at this beautiful sacrifice. With this move, black is opening up the e-file for the rook. King g2, well if it takes f3, then black can go for a queen sacrifice, a very impressive move, after which white king can get checkmated. That's why after knight f3 check, white played a desperate move, but it turns out that there is nothing which can stop black from sacrificing his queen, and queen takes f1 is on the board, after which finally Tore resigned. If king takes f1, then bishop h3 checkmate. Look at this majestic checkmate on the board. I think that this looks very impressive. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game, for more games consider subscribing to my channel, I will see you in the next video.